بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ويلكم تو ماي يوتيوب شانل ساينس فور ايفري ون توداي ان ذس فيديو اي ويل ديسكس ا فيري امبورتنت توبيك ذات از ريليتد تو باي انفورماتكس اند ذا نيم اوف ذا توبيك از موليكولر دوكينج اي ثينك يو هاف هارد ذس وورد بيفور اند اف يو هافنت هارد ذس وورد بيفور سو نا توداي I will uh, give you a video lecture in which you will uh, completely uh, you know about that what really molecular docking is. Okay, I have right here. Welcome to a new era. So you will know that why I have write it. Okay, so uh, let's start with the video. I will uh, explain this molecular docking in my way. Okay. there are many video lectures in uh, english and uh, different other languages who have discussed this molecular docking uh, but uh, i am discussing it in a very different way i will start with a, a simple uh, background okay after that i will then uh, discuss the uh, sl uh, slides with you people okay the definitions and the other things okay related to molecular docking okay then uh, after this video in the next video i will perform a practical and i will perform uh, different steps of molecular docking that how we will perform molecular docking in practical way okay so in this video i will discuss about the idea about the molecular docking and when then you uh, you get the idea so in the next video i will perform a practical because bioinformatics is a practical field okay you have to perform practicals on the computer and uh, but before the practical you should know about the basics and you should have some idea about the topic okay so let's start with the molecular docking i will start with the simple uh, background okay okay first of all uh, i will uh, uh, i want to tell you that uh, we all know that uh, we use medicines okay in our lifetime when we are sick okay so if i want to tell you that why we use medicines okay for example we are using antibiotics or antiviral drugs okay so why we are using it antibiotics and antiviral drugs okay just to uh, kill the that pathogen okay for example here is a uh, pathogen okay if i uh, draw it in a uh, way don't judge my uh, um, uh, this uh, skill because i am uh, working on it okay uh, for example this is an antigen okay for example this is an antigen this a okay so we are uh, if we, it enters our body so we are using different uh, antibiotics okay or different antiviral drugs okay just to kill that pathogens or just to uh, minimize its effect okay okay so for example this pathogen is uh, releasing different uh, uh, different harmful enzymes okay for example it is releasing different harmful enzymes okay so what is our goal uh, we uh, our goal is to kill that pathogen or uh, inactivates its toxins or uh, the, you know, in a simple way just to minimize its, its effect okay we are using this uh, uh, these antibiotics and different medicines okay just to act on these uh, antigens or these enzymes okay so how it acts okay so it acts in different way for example if uh, we are uh, producing different drugs against the enzymes of that pathogen okay so we are uh, using uh, different uh, uh, ligands different uh, medicines and they uh, bind with that uh, wait a minute i want to change the color okay so these uh, uh, these medicine these drugs for example uh, they are, these are designed against the enzymes that are present in that uh, uh, pathogen okay so we uh, we take this medicine medicines and these medicines binds to the enzymes and stops its activity okay stops its activity and they can no longer perform a function and as we know that enzymes are very essential very essential components okay very essential components they are playing different role they are uh, increasing the rate of reaction or uh, the uh, that essential reactions that are, that are taking place inside the microorganisms okay so our medicine what they do they binds to the active site of that enzymes okay and they uh, block the function of that enzyme okay 
So this is a simple way. Okay. So uh, in the uh, in the uh, before uh, the two thousands. Okay. Uh, in the nineteen nineteen uh, hundreds. Okay. So a drug was uh, if there was a pathogen. So when if if there was a novel pathogen and it was creating different diseases. Okay. So first of all, that pathogen was uh, recognized, and after that, it was studied. And after that, uh, 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 by studying that microorganism thoroughly, so then different drugs were designed experimentally. Okay, then they were uh, they were designed and then they were uh, tested experimentally. And after that, uh, after a long period of time, up to ten years, uh, an antibiotic, a drug, was introduced into the market. Okay. so it was a very uh, long way okay even the vaccines that were produced okay so they were taking many many uh, much time to create uh, that uh, vaccine okay just because of the experiment they uh, that uh, the scientists were conducting okay because they were uh, looking to each and every protein and each and every aspect of that microorganism okay so after that uh, uh, after the introduction of bioinformatics what was uh, i have written there that welcome to a new era okay so what happened okay bioinformatics what does it do it minimize the time okay for example uh, if first a drug was uh, a drug or a medicine or an antibiotic or a vaccine was uh, prepared in 10 year to 15 years okay so now it can be prepared uh, in five uh, in two years or one year okay in one year or two year of time okay so how it is done it is just because of molecular docking okay so now i will explain that what really molecular docking is okay so uh, if i want to tell you that uh, i was just giving you an idea of this enzyme and this uh, our drug that uh, they were are uh, testing it experimentally okay so now uh, what does bioinformatics do i have told you that uh, bioinformatics have uh, uh, have uh, work hard and it have gathered all the proteins that are present in in my uh, in a in a in an individual okay for example there are uh, proteins of homo sapiens humans and proteins of any kind of uh, living organism okay even the bacteria the viruses okay they have gathered the proteins okay the information about the protein okay so what does it, uh, they do for example uh, here is a uh, here is an antigen okay it is a, uh, here is an antigen and it is uh, producing uh, it is producing uh, 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 for example it is producing proteins okay okay so what does these uh, for example these proteins are enzymes okay so what does bioinformatics uh, uh, workers do so they uh, first they study the uh, protein okay first they study the protein okay after that uh, what they do they uh, sorry they uh, design different drugs okay they design different drugs okay if i want to uh, uh, change the color they did de design different drugs against that uh, enzyme okay for well, first they identify the enzyme after that they design different drugs uh, against the enzyme okay and how they design it they design these drugs through different softwares okay they design different drugs through software and after that with the help of software they are uh, they are uh, performing docking okay they are performing docking and they are seeing that how these uh, uh, these in uh, the our prepared uh, uh, prepared medicines or antibiotics are acting against this enzyme okay okay i want to tell you again that first they identify the in uh, the uh, protein the enzyme after that they pro, uh, they prepare they design different uh, different drugs against that enzyme okay different uh, drugs against that enzyme and that drugs can also be called ligands okay so they design different ligands and drugs against that uh, uh, enzymes through different softwares okay and after that after that they then dock these uh, enzyme and ligands with each other okay what does docking means docking means to attach these ligands with that uh, desirable uh, protein okay so they dock it and then look the efficiency of their that drug okay 
they look the uh, look to the efficiency of their drug okay different software that are designed by uh, in the field of bioinformatics when they dog this protein okay they combine this protein with uh, this ligand with this protein and they then look the efficiency that how uh, how much uh, efficiently this ligand is uh, um, attached to our uh, this protein okay so if it is attached very efficiently so obviously it is known that now uh, our drug can um, our drug can work efficiently when we prepare this type of drug in the laboratory okay so simple if i uh, i want to tell you in urdu so pehle jab ye aap ye enzymes ko identify kar lete hain theek hai iske structure ko identify kar lete hain isko different parameters se dekhte hain theek hai iske active site ko dekh lete hain after that ये जो ये क्या कर लेते हैं ये डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर के थ्रू उस एंजाइम्स के खिलाफ जो है डिफरेंट लेगेंट्स डिफरेंट ड्रग्स तैयार कर लेते हैं थ्रू डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर उसके बाद फिर क्या कर लेते हैं उसको फिर डॉक कर लेते हैं उस एंजाइम के साथ ठीक है उसके एक्टिव साइड के साथ उसको कंबाइन कर लेते हैं फिर उस वो देखते हैं ठीक है कि क्या वो इफिशेंटली बाइंड हुआ है ठीक है अगर ज्यादा इफिशेंटली बाइंड हुआ है तो हमारे साथ फिर क्या होगा तो अगर ज्यादा एफिशिएंटली बाइंड हुआ है तो फिर ये हमें बताएगा इट कैन क्लियरली टेल अस के अब हमारा ये जो ड्रग है इस प्रोटीन के खिलाफ अच्छा काम कर सकता है ठीक है तो क्या हो गया हमें टाइम बच गया किस तरह टाइम बच गया हमने इजीली प्रोट जो हमारे ड्रग से उसको डिजाइन कर लिया डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर के थ्रू और फिर विदाउट एनी एक्सपेरिमेंट हमने सॉफ्टवेयर के थ्रू उसको बाइंड कर लिया ठीक है हमें एक्टिव साइड का पता था हमें ड्रग्स हमारे साथ डिजाइन हुए थे हमने सॉफ्टवेयर के थ्रू उसको बाइंड कर लिया ठीक है और फिर उन्होंने रिजल्ट में हमें अपनी बाइंडिंग एफिशिएंसी शो कर दी ठीक है जब हमें अपनी बाइंडिंग एफिशिएंसी शो कर दी तो हमें इजीली पता चल जाएगा कि अगर ये 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 जितने ज्यादा बाइंडिंग एफिशिएंसी के पॉइंट्स ज्यादा होंगे ठीक है तो हमारा जो ड्रग है वो इजीली जो इस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स के प्रोटीन के खिलाफ बाइंड होकर इसको डीएक्टिवेट कर सकता है और इसके एक्टिव साइड को ब्लॉक कर सकता है ठीक है तो हमारे साथ कितना टाइम बच गया ठीक है कि हमने प्रोटीन्स को भी बायोफॉर्मेटिक्स टूल्स से आइडेंटिफाई कर लिया उसके स्ट्रक्चर को भी आइडेंटिफाई कर लिया ठीक है उसके बाद उसको उसके बाद फिर हमने ड्रग्स को तैयार कर लिया जो डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर के थ्रू और उसको सॉफ्टवेयर के थ्रू उस प्रोटीन्स के साथ बाइंड कर लिया ठीक है जब हमने बाइंड कर लिया और हमने बाइंडिंग एफिशेंसी देख ली ठीक है तो हमने फिर हमें इजिली पता चल जाएगा कि हमारा जब हम ये ड्रग तैयार करेंगे ठीक है तो हम ये इजीली माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म के इस प्रोटीन के साथ बाइंड कर सकता है ठीक है तो ये एक मोलिकुलर डॉकिंग है ठीक है इसने जो 15 इयर्स और 10 इयर्स लगते थे एक एक ड्रग को डिजाइन करने के लिए उस अभी ये फिर टू इयर्स और थ्री इयर्स और वन ईयर में तैयार हो सकते और ये सब कुछ क्यों इस इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स की वजह से ठीक है तो ये मोलिकुलर डॉकिंग है डॉकिंग सिंपल में आपको बता दूं कि जब हमारे साथ एक प्रोटीन और लेगेंट मिलता है ठीक है तो उसको डॉकिंग कहते हैं ठीक है इसको प्रोटीन डॉकिंग मोलिकुलर डॉकिंग कहते हैं ठीक है क्योंकि दो मोलिक्यूल्स आपस में बाइंड हो रहे हैं आपस में मिल रहे हैं ठीक है तो इसको डॉकिंग कहते हैं ठीक है तो ये एक सिंपल ओवर था अब आप डेफिनेशन को देखेंगे तो आप बहुत अच्छी तरह डॉकिंग में समझ जाएंगे ठीक है सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द स्लाइड ओके ओके वेट अ मिनट ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन डॉकिंग इज एन अटेम्प्ट टू फाइंड द बेस्ट मैचिंग बिटवीन टू मॉलिक्यूल्स आई हैव टू टोल्ड यू के ये का व्हाट डज इट डू इट फाइंड द बेस्ट मैचिंग ओके ये बेस्ट मैच फाइंड करता है जब ये ड्रग्स डिजाइन करता है पहले ये प्रोटीन के डिजाइन को देखते हैं प्रोटीन के स्ट्रक्चर को देखते हैं ठीक है उसके बाद they are designing different drugs against the that uh, that protein okay and after uh, and they use different softwares for this okay and after that when they design this drug so then they dock these this drug with that protein and they then look to the efficiency of the binding if the efficiency is the binding is greater so then it, they design their drug okay so no need to uh, 
no need for any experiments. They just do uh, with the help of software. And it, it is a very great application of bioinformatics, okay? Okay, if I will look to an, another definition. So docking is a method. Docking is a method which predicts the preferred orientation of one ligands with bound, uh, uh, when bound in an active side for, to form a stable complex, okay? So simply it means that docking is a method, okay? What, do, what is docking? Docking, docking is that uh, when we combine two different molecules with each other and uh, just look to that uh, binding and how they bind, okay? So this is known as docking, okay? Just look to the uh, picture, okay? Docking of a small molecule, okay? This is the ligand. I told you that when we bind a target molecule, uh, we, when, when we bind a drug or a molecule with the target um, macromolecule, so it is known as ligand, okay? And the protein receptor is green, okay? So when they bind, so it is known as docking, okay? Just, it is a, just, uh, it is the same as the lock and key model. We are, uh, when we are performing this, uh, uh, this uh, practicals, okay? So you just to keep this thing in mind that uh, it is just like lock and key model, okay? Why find the correct relative orientation of the key? which will open up the lock, okay? We identify our uh, lock, okay? Our protein, our macromolecule. After that, we prepare a uh, key for it. And the key is the ligand, okay? So keep this thing in mind. We are following this uh, concept, okay? So uh, just look to this, okay? Nevirapine, um, okay? It is uh, designed against the uh, HIV reverse transcriptase, okay? So first we will identify the structure of this reverse transcriptase and then we can design and we can uh, design different drugs against it through different softwares, okay? So this is the lock and this is the key. It is a small example of it, okay? If we are now uh, molecular docking, what is the aim? To achieve an optimized conformation for both receptors and ligands and the relative orientation between proteins and ligands such that the free energy of overall system is minimized. In simple, if I told you that our aim is to minimize the time of producing different antibiotics and different drugs, okay? The main aim of this is, and we, uh, and we want to minimize the experiments, okay? When we were doing uh, in the 2000s and 1990s, okay? So we will minimize that, uh, the, the we, we, we will minimize the, uh, and the experiments and we will perform our maximum work over the softwares okay so we will dock different proteins again uh, different uh, proteins against the ligands okay so successful docking methods such uh, high dimensional spacing efficient uh, effectively and use a scoring function that directly ranks candidate docking okay after that when we dock these uh, these two molecules then we will uh, look to the, uh, the scores okay the different scoring function, we will look to that score if the scores are in a large amount. So then we will say that our protein is docked correctly. Okay. Look at this is a target and we have prepared a ligand against it. Okay. And after that, we perform docking and in the software, then we will, uh, uh, we will know about the, uh, the, the reading. Okay. I will perform a practical over it. I will prepare a molecule. I will take a PDB uh, molecule from a software. Okay. And after that, I will take a, uh, uh, a desirable or any type of drug and I will dock it and I will show you that uh, uh, the reading, okay? So in the practical, you will then easily understand it, that what is molecular docking. But first you have to watch this, okay? To understand, you have to have an idea because when I'm then performing the steps, okay? So then you will easily be knowing it, okay? Okay, what is the importance? So, importance is the molecular talking importance is that identification of the ligand, correct binding geometry in the binding side, okay? So, if we, uh, molecular docking is that uh, we will identify our target, we will prepare a ligand and we will, uh, we will then bind it, okay? So, it is an importance, okay? Prediction of the binding affinity and when they, uh, when they uh, bind, so then we will, uh, uh, after the result, we will know that how much our uh, ligand is uh, uh, efficiently bind to the uh, protein, okay? So it is also an importance of molecular docking. Another importance, it is minimizing the time, okay? So uh, it is also known as rational design of a uh, drug, okay? 
so uh, we are uh, we are designing the drug with different uh, softwares okay okay types of docking so you this is a simple uh, rigid docking okay in the rigid docking we will uh, consider our uh, ligand and our uh, macromolecule we, they both will be rigid okay just like lock and key model okay in flexible docking okay we will uh, consider our ligand flexible okay so then it is known as induced model in the rigid docking our macromolecule and our ligand will be a solid okay rigid and in the flexible docking okay our uh, jo, uh, smaller one the ligand will be uh, flexible and our uh, uh, either both will be flexible or the ligand will be flexible with us okay so what uh, how can we uh, docking will be between the protein and ligand okay we will uh, we will take a protein uh, and we will um, uh, we will design a ligand against it okay so the ligands will uh, maybe a pro uh, maybe a chemical okay uh, in a inorganic chemical okay if it is protein protein docking so our macromolecule will be or uh, will also be a protein and our ligand will be a protein okay and if it is protein nucleotide docking okay so our protein uh, our macromolecule will be protein or our macromolecule will be a nucleotide and our ligand will be a protein. So uh, just uh, depend upon our uh, drug, okay, and our molecule, okay. Just look, it is a protein ligand, okay. This is a, this blue is a protein and this is our ligand. For example, this is a drug, okay, inorganic drug, okay. If it is protein, protein docking, so the green one is also a protein and the yellow one is also a protein. If it is protein nucleotide docking, so this is a nucleotide, okay, a DNA or RNA. And this is our uh, this protein, okay? It is binding to it. So docking can be performed uh, between protein ligand, protein protein, and protein nucleotide, okay? Okay, types of introduction between the docking molecules, okay? Between the ligand and the macromolecule. So it could be electrostatic forces. It uh, electrostatic forces between the uh, the charges that uh, be, the forces between the charges. It could be electrodynamic forces. There's these van der Waal forces. Okay, it could be steric forces. Okay, steric forces. If I want to tell you that our uh, in a simple way, uh, steric means that uh, steric effect and steric forces. This means that every molecule have a space uh, in between them. Okay, and we make this uh, if we. Uh, through force, we uh, uh, can to bring these atoms, these molecules together. So this space could be uh, acquired by these molecules. Okay. So due to the acquire of this free space, there will be an increase in entropy. Okay. There will be a difference, and there will be a force of interaction between that forces. Okay. So this is a chemistry. I'm not going to it, but this is a type of forces, electrostatic forces, van der Waal forces, steric forces. Okay. And uh, solvent related forces because we are having uh, waters. Our water molecules and nitrogen molecule in between uh, our uh, protein and our uh, ligand. So hydrogen bonding can be also there. Okay. So forces could be hydrogen bonding, uh, van der Waal forces, char uh, forces between the charges and steric forces when the uh, the empty space is uh, acquired by the atoms. Okay. So there is uh, increase in the entropy and the forces there is a force that is uh, an attractive force between the ligand and the protein okay so keep this thing in mind now here is the key stages in docking okay what do you need in docking so you need a target okay a receptor a macromolecule okay a ligand okay then you will perform docking and then after that you will uh, see the result so i will then now explain it in a uh, in uh, in steps okay Okay, a typical docking workflow. First, you have to select the target. Okay, first you have to select the target. After that, you will prepare your target. Okay, so I will uh, these steps. Uh, I will perform these steps each and every steps in the practical. Okay, so first you will have an idea. First, you will take the target. Okay, from a software. Okay, after that you will prepare the target. How will you prepare? How will you take the target? I will show you in the practical, okay? After that, then you will take the ligand and also you will prepare the, uh, the ligand, okay? And after that, then you will perform docking 
and then you will see the results okay so this is a practical okay i will perform i will uh, show you the practical okay but then first you have to keep an idea on it okay that first what you will do okay okay so now is the okay so what will you do first you will take the receptor okay you will uh, the 3d structure of a receptor should be considered which can be downloaded from the protein data bank okay you will download the receptor okay the ma macromolecule after that uh, you will uh, uh, when you download it okay so through different uh, uh, research articles and through different literature you will identify the active site okay but there are softwares where the active site of a protein can be identified easily okay so you will uh, first you will download the uh, the uh, the macromolecule from the pdb okay protein data bank after that then you will uh, then uh, uh, what will you do you will identify the active site okay and you will prepare you will uh, prepare the receptors okay after that you will select your ligand and uh, you will also prepare it okay the zinc uh, ligand can be uh, taken from the zinc uh, zinc software pubchem software or you can, uh, and you can also take it from the uh, drug bank okay so i will use the drug drug bank in the practical okay then you will perform docking okay so for docking there are uh, different software pyrex software and uh, different other gold software okay so i will use the pyrex software okay so after that uh, these are the software that are used in molecular docking okay sanjeevini gold auto dock okay so these are different software but I will use very simple softwares, okay? I will use uh, uh, Protein Data Bank, okay? I will use NCBI, and uh, I will also use Chimera. And after that, uh, I, in the docking, I will use uh, the Pyrex, okay? So it is easy, but these are also used. Most of the softwares are paired software, okay? So uh, you, uh, you have, uh, you, if you pay, it for, you pay for it, so then you can get it, okay? So the applications of molecular docking, as I have mentioned in the uh, uh, previously, that we can uh, vir virtual screening, okay, hit identification. We can identify our drugs, okay, that uh, that are you know, that are acting efficiently against our macromolecules, okay. We can discover different drugs, okay. We will uh, what we will do. We will um, through different software. We will. Uh, uh, make we will design different drugs and you will uh, see their uh, efficiency against our macro molecule so we can uh, also uh, discover drugs okay bioremediation so we can also uh, it can also help in uh, bioremediation okay by by knowing our pollutants we can uh, design different uh, uh, drugs against against the pollutants or we can uh, we can came to know that uh, for example there is a pollutant in the soil okay and, and, and a bacteria is producing uh, an enzyme against that uh, that uh, uh, pollutant, okay? So we will identify the enzyme, okay? So by identifying the enzyme, we will came to know that uh, this enzyme is acting efficiently against it, okay? So we will, uh, through different recombinant DNA technology, we will uh, take out that gene, okay? And we will synthesize uh, that enzyme efficient, uh, in a very large amount, and then we will apply it to the soil. But uh, it is a very uh, immense field, okay? So this can be done with bioremediation, okay? Here are some references, okay? So uh, you can also, uh, there are different books and uh, articles about molecular docking, okay? So this was all about uh, molecular docking. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box, okay? I will answer you there. Uh, this, was, uh, uh, this was a lecture about molecular docking, okay? What is molecular docking? And uh, how we will perform molecular docking uh, in a text, okay? I have, uh, I have just shown you the stages. In the practical, I will then show you that how you will perform a molecular docking. So when we, you watch this video, and after that you watch the practical. So then I think that now you will then be completely uh, uh, clear about the molecular docking. And what is molecular docking? When we dock two molecules, okay? So this is molecular docking, okay? So thank you very much, God bless you.